it known. Here we are at basement storage. This is one of the fri most frightening pl parts in the game, unless, like me, you already know what you're doing. So yeah, you are kind of messing out, missing out on some of the initial uh, shock I had at playing this part, and I'm sorry. But once we get to the prison, you'll get all that lovely shock. Uh, Daniel notes the darkness here seems unnatural. And the phone is ringing, so pardon me. No, sorry, that was my sister. She's in the Air Force, and I need to support the troops by, you know, talking to my sister. Now we're going to just close the door here. Grab this thing. A drill part. Okay, no grunt. Open this door. Close the door. Let's see, where is it? Anything in here? Where are you? Oh, hey. Chess. Hey. Chess. Ooh, excellent chess. Oil, tinderbox, and laudanum. It's like my birthday. Only better. Oh, hey. And another tinderbox. Tinderbox is everywhere up in this. I will never say that again, don't worry. How many tinder boxes do I have now? 31? Not bad. Let's see. I'm running kind of low on oil, so I'll stop being such a miser with it. Let's see. Door! Yes, I'm going to yell out the name of random objects. Let's see. That's it for the drill parts down here. Uh, let's see if I can find my way back. Hold on. So dark. Oh, a note. Alexander, I have prepared the explosives you needed for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your featherbrain servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I've arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you're ready to go. Agrippa. In your box. Alright, back up the stairs we go. very important that when you go into this room, you close the door. Were you raised in a barn? Grab the tinderbox. I don't know what that was about, I'm sorry. Grab these two tinderboxes. You can go ahead and light this torch if you want. Here. Or maybe there isn't a torch there. Anyhow, the important thing is grab this drill bit and then crouch. That growl is the growl of Daniel, I'm going to gank you. And that is the sound of a grunt. Now we are losing sanity due to being in the dark. But it's important to be in the dark when a grunt is chasing you because they have very bad eyesight, and I'm not joking there. That really is why they can't find you in the dark. If you listen to the music there, that's the music of you're being searched for. That means that there's a grunt out there, and that you should just put up with the darkness and man up until the grunt goes away. I think it's over now. There we go. Grunt's gone. And we got out of there without losing any levels of sanity. Huzzah! Now, we can just combine the drill. And we have a working hand drill. 
time for us to scoot right back down where we were to the uh, equipment room. Look for this primary. Use the hand drill. Use the hand drill. Crank it. Now, we're gathering these explosive ingredients in the chemistry pot, which was full of acid, and which we have not washed. I'm no chemist, but this does not seem like a good idea. Because now we have a pot of explosives. And we're running with it. I'm running with it. Mom told me not to run with scissors, not to run, not, not to run with explosives. That's the wrong way. Hop. Hop. Right here. Please, let me go. I won't tell anyone, I swear. I just want to go home. Hard to see during those uh, cutscenes. Oh, grab the tinder box. Take our hastily prepared explosive. Put it over here. Do one of the most dangerous, bloody things we're going to do in the entire game. Pick up a rock. Throw it at the explosive. Run like hell. That thing will hurt you if you're too close to it. For rather, you know, obvious reasons. In this other part, grab the tinder box. Always grab tinder boxes. Even if I rarely use them. Walk over here. Get a flashback. Why are you doing this? Get away from me! I should probably just, you know, stand still during flashbacks and not waste the lantern. Now in here, it's very important that you take note of the doors. This door is safe. In fact, you should go into this door, because if you move these barrels out of the way, like the Hulk, you, you get a container of oil. That's good. Also a tinderbox. Also good. There's another door right around here. That one. You probably didn't get a good look at it, because I was distracted by the lovely tinderbox over here. Now, this door, you should not open under any circumstances. There's nothing in there, as far as I know, except a grunt who will eat your face. After the loss of their own, grunts find faces the most delectable of food. They have a rumbling in their tumbly, the kind that only faces can satisfy. refuses to play this game. Or rather, she refuses to watch the game. She refuses to play the game because she refuses to play video games. Now in here, again, close the door. If a full set of three rods is unavailable, there is one rod in the inner study room which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless it is absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mending, a mended one. Uh, yeah, there's only two here. First, grab the tinder box over here. Then pick up the rod, pick up the other rod. Well, that's nice, isn't it? We got a nice sanity increase. In oh god, oh god, oh god, there's a grunt. So now we're going to go hide. As far as I know, it's okay to hide in the light there. Because, I mean, you're behind the closed door, but just to be safe, until our sanity starts taking a hit, I'm going to... No, I'm not. I'm going to see what happens. I really kind of doubt that you're going to be casting much of a shadow this far away from the door. But if the grunt does start to break down the door, then I'll just...